Sarah, welcome back to the League of Ireland. Great to have you back. Um, talk to us a bit about the decision to join Rovers. Yeah, look, I think it was a decision I couldn't really turn down. Um, I had other options in Scotland and in England, but I felt like this was the right choice for me at this stage. Uh, I'm at. Obviously, I didn't go according the plan when I was over there, so I just think it was important to get into an environment that uh, will suit me look, as a person and as a player. So, yeah, look, I'm here at Rovers now and I'm delighted to be here. Stephen Bradley's been full of praise for you. Um, said he's long admired you, tried to sign you before you left. Um, how big of a... I suppose how big of an influence was he in your decision to come here? Yeah, it's massive. I think you want to play for a manager that wants you, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there was interest here before I went to England. Um, and then when I was, you know, I was going to leave uh, MK Dons, had uh, a good couple of chats with him. Every chat went well. Like, so, as I said, I was just excited to get it done. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get playing now. There's a chance as well to make history at Rovers this year and become the only side to ever do five leagues in a row. Is that a big motivator for you? Yeah, definitely. I think um, there's Europe as well. There's a cup there to be uh, to be won. I think this is a massive opportunity like for myself to come back here and, uh, as you said, be part of the history of this club. So, yeah, look, it's, um, it's a massive club with great players. The staff are brilliant and uh, the fans are brilliant. So, yeah, look, it was a perfect match and uh, hopefully we can make history. You've a lot of experience in the league with Pats and obviously I presume you would be keeping an eye on it while you've been away. It seems like it's in a great spot at the minute with attendances and just coverage it's, it's getting. Is that a part of it too? Yeah, I think it was just it was just getting going. Like it was the crowds were good before I left, but obviously I used to watch the League of Ireland every Friday night. Um the crowds have even got bigger and there seems to be more of a buzz about it. So yeah, look I think it, it's gone in the right direction. I think it can still improve. I think uh, everyone wants it to improve. So yeah. Look, it's, I think it's the place to be now at the minute for myself and uh, looking forward to the opportunities that it'll give me. The uh, the gap on Rovers, everybody thinks it's closing every year and it doesn't seem to, but last year Derry pushed Rovers a bit harder. Your old club Pats seems yeah. to be in a great place as well. Where do you see the threats coming this year? Yeah, I think you said uh, Derry and Pats will challenge us. Uh, but the club has not won uh, four leagues in a row for no reason, you know what I mean? So the hunger is still there. Brilliant players. Um, there's going to be challenges every year, whether, as I said, it's in Europe, in Cups, everyone wants to beat Rovers. Um, everyone wants to knock them off the top of the league. So, uh, look, we're not stupid. We know, we know there's going to be tough games and tough moments in the league, but we'll just focus on ourselves and see how we get on. Great stuff. Thanks, Miller.